welcome back to another segment of Whip It Wednesday. Um, I, as always, absolutely love, love, love doing this video. So let's go ahead and get started right now. This one is being worked on by Nicole. Um, love, love, love her. She is so amazing and does so much for my channel and my Facebook group. So thank you, girl. Um, this painting is called Beauty and the Beast, and it is a 50 by 70. It has 33 different colors, and it is from Home Craftology, which from what I hear is a very, very good company to buy from. I so far have not bought one from them directly. Um, the price of this one is $24.99, but it gets larger the higher you go. This particular one cost her $59 and 99 cents and that's again for the 50 by 70 so if you get a smaller one it's going to cost you less so basically the price starts out at 24.99 this one is a round but on the site you can also get a square so totally you know you can pick square or round whatever one you want to do it took her two weeks to get it, but of course she says that was before this uh, virus hit, so obviously it probably will take a little longer than that now. Um, I cannot wait to see this one done. Uh, I think she is like very much the beast in this painting because to do all of this white, holy crap, there's a lot of white in this, you guys. Like the only picture part is the very middle. So everything else is the white. Um, I think she said like 33,000 drills are white. So yeah, she is doing the white life, the, the 5,300 life right now. Um, but I love these color pinks and I'm sure when she gets to those pinks, it's like, oh, color, um, which that's, that's what I'd be doing anyways. But anyways, I can't wait to see this one done. It's going to be really, really, really pretty. Hopefully next week I can get a picture for you guys to show you what it's going to look like. I have seen the picture of it and it's going to be beautiful. Angie's working on this 30 by 40. It is Round Diamonds from AliExpress. Um, it's from a company called Dispaint Store. Uh, this one cost her $7.81 and it was free shipping. So that's always good if you can find a company that will do free shipping. Um, I really, you know, I like this one actually. For a 30 by 40, I'm really surprised how much detail you can actually see. I mean, look at the deer. Look at his antlers. Like, you can actually see the def the definition in the antlers. And in a 30 by 40, a lot of times you don't get that kind of detail. Um, if you want to check more out like this, or this one in particular, Angie has a YouTube channel. And it is called Angie's Crazy, capital M, capital N, Diamond Painting. So go check her out. So Jasmine is working on this one. She is on day 17 of working on this 76 by 51 centimeter. This is from no other than Diamond Art Club. This one cost $59.99 and she got it on the pre-order. She said she just couldn't help herself. She needed it in her stash. Well, it's not in her stash now because she's working on it. Um, she might have been, I don't know, seems like this one just came out not long ago. So it didn't stay in her stash pile very long before she pulled that one out. Um, she said that this one is probably her favorite picture from Diamond Art Club. So awesome, awesome. And she said it's going to be finished by next week. So yeah, this one looks to me like it is full of confetti, guys. Like this, yeah, full of confetti. Now, I don't know for sure because I don't have this one. Um, I missed out on this one. I didn't get it in time and it sold out like that. So Anyways, but to me, with all of this detail in it, it does look like it's full of confetti. So the fact that she's going to have this one done so fast, kudos to you, girl. Um, it is looking amazing. I love these blues and purples. They are absolutely phenomenal, like beautiful, beautiful colors. So thank you so much, Jasmine, for sending this one in. Please keep us updated on your progress. 
Bianca's working on this one. The title of this one is Frozen, and it is a 51 by 76. It does have ABs, and it is also from Diamond Art Club. Um, this is a square full drill, and it cost $49.95. Um, this one is gorgeous, and honestly, it's kind of, to me, it's like no other one. It's a little bit more... I wouldn't say risky, but just a little bit different than a lot of the ones that I see on Diamond Art Club, at least for the ones that I get on Diamond Art Club. Um, but it's absolutely stunning, and she's coming along working on this one. Um, this one is obviously, it's fairly large, 76 centimeters. It's a pretty, pretty good size painting, uh, and obviously just half of it takes up her entire desk. So she's going to have to like roll the other side up so she can start on the bottom half. Uh, but I love the detail. Look at that sword. The detail is absolutely beautiful. I'm guessing this has a lot of confetti as well. Um, but keep on working on it, Bianca. I am excited to see this one all the way done. Ariel is continuing to plug away at this one, you guys. Um, Ariel is another one of the awesome people that keeps my channel and group running smoothly. So thank you, girl, for all that you do as well. Um, and she is having a hard time with this one, you guys. She's had a lot of issues with crater drills and blotches and oily drills. Like, just, you know, the worst kind of stuff that you have to deal with. Um, the kit... The name of this kit is Wolf DIY. It is a 50 by 75 square full painting. There is a total of 59,700 drills in this one. And she bought it from the store Cami Y store. I tell you that not to recommend going there. I tell you that to say don't go there. Because of all the issues that she's had with this one, I would not recommend this store. Um, but this one cost her $18.64. Um, it is full of confetti and all sorts of stuff. But man, look at this picture. Look at it. I mean, I just cannot get over how beautiful this picture is, which of course is the only thing that's probably getting her to truck along on this one because it's so beautiful. Um, lots of confetti, I am sure. Um, I can't remember what she said, but I thought she said maybe she was also having an issue with a lot of popping drills. Um, but I can't remember 100% sure, so don't take my word for it. But I cannot wait to see this one all the way done. These wolves are absolutely beautiful. Trish is working on this little snack size 30 by 30 round from AliExpress. Um, this, she said, makes number 43 diamond paintings for her. So go, girl. Um, this one only costs $7.80, so not a lot. Like I said, this is just a little snack size painting. Uh, looks like she already did the... Um, the Miami heat part, maybe, I can't really tell for sure. It Well, I don't know if she did all of it, but she definitely did the basketball because you can see those beautiful, beautiful, shiny drills. Um, now she's working on that white, which is a lot of white. So I'm kind of glad this is only a 30 by 30 for you, Trish, because otherwise, holy heck, that's a lot of white. Um, but it's going to be awesome. I'm guessing that is your team. Um, so what a good way to celebrate your team by doing a diamond painting for them. Um, I did a diamond painting for one for my dad, for his team in football and absolutely love it. And it's going to get framed, but it, it turned out really good. And so I think this one's going to turn out wonderful. Um, very excited to see it all done because all this white is going to be just a lot of work. So keep trucking away at it. Okay, Randy's working on this one. As you can see from just the top of it, it's Tinkerbell. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. But I just wanted to show you um, what she's working on. Because if you actually look at the painting that she's doing, for a second there I thought, are those crystal drills? Because they're so shiny and sparkly. But when I got up nice and close, I realized, no, they're not. They're just regular drills. Um, beautiful, beautiful painting. I really, really like this one. 
I don't know what store she actually got this one from, um, but it's from somewhere from AliExpress. She got it back in 2018, so it's been a little while. Uh, this is a 50 by 65 full square with 45 different colors. Cost her $30.20, and that does include the shipping cost. Um, the only thing that I have to say that would be negative about this, guys, is it is confetti heavy. However, I don't mind certain times when it's confetti heavy if it's going to make the picture turn out absolutely gorgeous. Um, sometimes I just like to go back and forth between one that's really confetti heavy and one that's a lot of color blocking just to give myself a little bit of a break. But um, this is what it's going to look like the picture when it's all done. And it is so stinking cute. I love Tinkerbell. Love, love, love Tinkerbell. Um, I kind of want to do one like this. I really like the whole like stainless glass kind of look where you have the black outlining stuff. Um, they're kind of fun to do. You can do it a little differently than just doing like square by square like normal. Um, I like to highlight a black area with the black outline and then go ahead and fill that in kind of like I do when I color. Um, so I love this kind of painting, but do you guys let me know in the comments? Do you like the kind that looks like kind of stainless glass like Mandy Manzano does? Um, or would you prefer one that doesn't have so much black in it? Because we all know, yes, you live the black life for a while when you're doing all those outlines, but it is so worth it in the end. Lacey's working on this one. Um, this one is No Needs for Words from Diamond Art Club. It's on clearance for only $14.99, but unfortunately it is no longer available right now. It is a discontinued image. Um, it is a 42 by 63, um, which I believe is why it's a discontinued because they started doing all of their paintings more of like a standard frame size. That way you could frame your artwork without having to go and spend an arm and a leg on getting a custom framing. Um, anyways, this one has 27 colors, and then that includes 1AB, which is 141, which is that beautiful, beautiful white that kind of reminds me of either like sugary coconut or a unicorn something. I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. Um, it is a full square. She says, I'm debating adding sparklers or just following the key code. Um, I say add some sparklers in there, girl. Make it come to life for yourself. I love like doing a little detailing, making it just a little bit different so that it's more my own, you know, um, but that's my opinion. She says the date on the bottom it is when I started. Um, I don't count hours or anything. I just like to see the average amount of days that it takes to finish. Some days I work, some days I don't do it at all. I am the exact same way. Sometimes I like to work, sometimes I don't. Because like I've said before, you guys, diamond painting should be a leisurely um, hobby. I don't feel like you should work on it because you have to. Uh, it should be something you want to do. So I only work on my painting when I want to work on it. If I feel like just laying around relaxing in the evening, I lay around and relax. If I feel like working on it all evening, that's what I do. So I highly recommend doing that because I don't think, I don't want diamond painting to ever be a chore or something I have to do. So that is why I stick to that kind of rule for myself. Um, so it looks like other people do the same thing. This is what it's going to look like when it is all complete. This is the image. Um, but as you can, you could kind of already see that as well because they have the, the plastic cover over it. So you can see the image as you're working on it. Um, and I love this image. I love the lion. Of course, I'm a little partial to lions. My last name is lion. So, you know, we kind of do the lion thing. So, but anyways, Lacey, thank you for sending this in. I greatly appreciate it. Jean is working on this one. She calls this Moonlight Cottage. Um, it is a 60 by 80, so a healthy size painting. And it is from Evermoment on AliExpress. If you are looking for a good, solid, reputable company on AliExpress, Evermoment is definitely one I would send you to. They can be a little more expensive than like your typical one on AliExpress, but it's definitely worth it. Sometimes, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, anyways, this one costs $41.41. 
sense. And uh, she said, I didn't have space to unroll it all the way. So you can just see what she's working on here. But here is what the whole picture is going to look like when it is all done. And how beautiful is that? Um, but this thing is confetti on top of confetti, she said. And then, hey, have a little more confetti with the other confetti I already gave you. Because that's what this is. Um... She says there is a few places with a little color blocking, but not much. So anyways, a lot of times I think pictures that have confetti heavy on them turn out so freaking beautiful. Like they have so much detail in them that it's unreal. But there are some that have color blocking that I absolutely love. Like the one I just finished. Love, love, love it. Full of color blocking. But it just depends on your preference, what you like to work on, and what you think looks better in the end. But yeah, I have to I have to quote what she said because I absolutely love it. First of all, she did say the canvas is nice and sticky and the drills are mostly good. Um, but what she said, <laughs> I just love this, Jean, so much. She says, working on this canvas is like stepping into a meadow full of sunshine. I mean, that couldn't be more just descriptive if you tried so obviously she is greatly enjoying working on this canvas so I'm really excited to see it done it looks like she's about eh, I don't know halfway maybe a third of the way done um but yeah it's got a lot of confetti girl but keep trucking away I cannot wait to see this one it's going to be absolutely beautiful Lisa is working on this one. It is a 70 by 50 centimeters from Diamond Art Club. Uh, she said she can't remember how much she paid for it, but it's called Forever in My Heart. And she is doing this for a DP along um, called hashtag Mandy DP 2020. And also to remember their granddaughter who was born sleeping at 35 weeks. Um, I am so sorry that you had to go through that and having your, your daughter or son what, or both go through that. That is a horrible, horrible experience to have to go through. Um, our hearts go out to you, but what a beautiful way to remember, um, that little girl by doing this one. It is a full square painting and it does have one AB. This kit or this, um, picture is absolutely gorgeous so I really think this is such a really really beautiful way to kind of pay tribute to your beautiful granddaughter Susan is working on this one and oh my gosh you guys I still cannot get over how adorable these kittens are um, this is from home fun and it is a square 55 by 55 and there are 43 colors, and she paid $26.50. Um, she said that this one is so nice to work on. The drills and canvas are absolutely perfect, and she's loving a little cuteness in her life. Um, I would say a lot of cuteness. I can't get over how clear this kitten's face is. Like, it looks like I'm showing you the picture of what it's supposed to look like. It is so clear and beautiful. I love... I actually really want this kit now. Like, this kitten is so stinking adorable. Um, I love this. Love, love, love it. Here is a picture of what it's supposed to look like with both kitties in there. It's going to be so cute when it's all done, Susan. You, yeah, you're definitely going to have to frame this and send it to me for Finished Friday because I need a little cuteness in my life. So, okay, right now I'm working on this lion head, um, and I'm working, like, down in this area. I'll bring you down here in just a minute, but, um, so this lion head, I have not done my unboxing yet for, um, but I will be probably, hopefully, getting that out tomorrow, I'm guessing. Either that or maybe later today. Um, anyways, this is the like it's super colorful and bright and cheery which is one of the reasons I really really like it um and and decided on this one so I decided to get this I can't remember how long ago it was not that long ago um because it came actually fairly quickly like less than a week I had it so that was pretty good especially with like everything that's going on right now. Um, I kind of anticipated it, you know, taking a little bit longer, but 
it didn't take very long. So that was a bonus. Um, this is a dreamer design canvas. I have not done a dreamer design canvas yet. This is my very first one. Um, so they, you know, honestly, from the very beginning, kind of, I heard a lot of negative things about their company and I didn't, um, I, I guess I felt like, okay, I'm hearing all of this negative stuff about them. By the way, this is before 2.0 came out, okay? So keep that in mind. Anyways, um, and because they their prices are higher, they're a little bit more like, eh, Diamond Art Club-ish, um, something around, you know, they're just a little bit higher than, like, other places are. So because I was hearing so much negativity about them, I felt like, I don't know if I want to spend that much money and risk getting a, you know, a pooey canvas. Like, I just don't want to do that. So I felt like I already knew a lot of other places that had really good canvases. So why risk it? Um, and then they came out with 2.0. And I don't know how many people I saw opening 2.0 canvases. And I was like, huh, eh, maybe, maybe, you know. Um, and the more I saw people open them, the more I thought, you know, I really owe it to myself and to you guys to at least try them um, and see how they are. And because now I am getting money from YouTube um, and I do put that money directly, the YouTube money I get, I do put directly back into my channel. Unless it's been, it was like a super chat that was like somebody said like, hey, put it towards Maddie and her dog. Uh, other than that, it goes to the channel. So um, I decided I would just bite the bullet and try them. So I went through, actually me and Maddie went through their canvases together and kind of picked one out. Um, and this one, the reason I chose this one is, uh, for those of you that don't know, my last name is Lion. And since, like, when my son was born, his nursery was done with, like, a bunch of, um, like, animals and, you know, the main one being Lion. And we've kind of just always had a Lion theme in our family because of our last name. And oddly enough, when I was in high school, um, I had the nickname Lion because of my hair. Granted, back then, they didn't have straighteners or anything like that. So, like, I had to use my curling iron as a straightener, which those of you that got curly hair know doesn't work the best. So, like, my friends would joke that I had the lion mane because I would straighten it, but it was still, you know, a poofy, poofy mess. So... I was called Lion back in high school, and then um, I got married, and my last name was Lion. And, of course, those of my good friends that were still around um, when I got married, they thought it was absolutely hilarious that I now was actually a lion. <laughs> so, um, I have ordered a couple paintings that were, like, a lion family that I absolutely loved the painting of and it was like a mama and a daddy and a boy and a girl cub um loved 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 the painting yeah until i did it and it was not good um unfortunately it had really bad um what do you in the dummy circles and you know the reason i don't like dummy circles are because of this reason right here like okay when i did that canvas the drills were smaller than the dummy circles so that you could see the big black circles behind the drills. And it was a very light cream and tan colored canvas because it was lions. And they, it was like the true color of lions. It wasn't like, like this. It was like a real, what a real lion looks like. And it just looked absolutely horrible and I hated it. Um, I didn't even finish the entire canvas because I just... I hated it so much. I knew I wasn't going to use it. Um, and so why continue, you know? So I actually got rid of that canvas. Um, and so I then had like kind of a sour, a sour uh, taste in my mouth for doing lions again. And then I saw this one and I was like, you know what? It is gorgeously colored. I love the colors in it. Um, because those of you who have 
seen my channel for a while, you guys know I am big on working on like colorful canvases. Love doing colorful canvases. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to get it. And they also do all squares. And so I knew there wouldn't be an issue with like dummy circles or something like that. Um, and even if there did, like, it's really colorful. So I wouldn't have the same issue as I did with the other one. Anyways, um, so I decided, we decided we'd get this. Um, Maddie's going to probably work on it a little bit too because she really liked it. And she likes to do squares. So um, she's going to help me probably get this one done. But yeah, so I got the canvas. Um, I did film the unboxing. Like I said, I just haven't gotten it out there yet. And I only just started this one yesterday. Um, I got it out and kitted it up the day before and then yesterday started it and I only worked on it as you can see for just a few minutes because I just did the one color and I was so tired I was like I'm going to I, I have to go to sleep so um I'm trying to listen to my body a little bit more because um again if you've been watching my channel for a while you know I am not the best at going to sleep like I just don't do it I fight it um try to stay awake I try to keep you know an eye on my daughter and therefore I don't get enough sleep myself and I don't especially right now with like this virus going around and everything I I need my immune system to be like ready to go because I don't have a good immune system I also have bad asthma and some lung issues and so um I yeah I just don't want to to chance it and so um I'm already dealing with like allergy crap and everything so I am really, really trying to get more sleep and listen to my body when it tells me I need to sleep. So I am doing that. Um, so I've actually gotten more sleep lately, probably in the past two weeks, week that than I have in a long time. Um, and so, yeah, and my kids are home, you know, right now. So my son, I mean, is home. My daughter's always home, but my son is home too. So if I need to take a nap during the day, I can, and he's there too. So, um, you know, not that I don't trust her or anything to be alone, but it's just that, you know, with her health issues. So anyways, I have definitely been getting more sleep lately and going to bed. I still sleep on the couch right by her room so that I can hear and Lincoln, he is pretty good about waking me at nighttime if I need to be woke at nighttime. He woke me up the other night because her blood sugar spiked. And he, I, I think he probably did his normal like sit in the hallway and whine. And I must have not woke up to it because he then, when I woke up, he was literally like on top of me. And he was whining in my face. And I was like, um, excuse me. And so I thought he had to go potty because I was like half awake. So I stood up. Start walking toward the door to take him out, and he was like, no. And he ran into Maddie's room, jumped on her bed. And I was like, oh, okay. So as soon as I picked up her meter, he went back to sleep. And he was like, my job's done. I'm good. And he went back to sleep. So, and then sure enough, she was a high. So I do have him as well at nighttime, which is, yeah, it's, it's very reassuring to have, you know, another, another person, dog, whatever, looking out for her. Yeah. at night time so anyways but um so this one is a 40 by 50 and um it is one thing that I do um like about them and you know respect is they do like get licensed work they do not steal their artwork and if you are new to diamond painting when you buy a canvas um, from someone make sure that their artwork isn't stolen because it's unfair to artists you know they work really hard um, on that artwork and for it to be stolen and used for somebody else's profit it's just not fair. So make sure when you buy uh, your diamond paintings that you're making sure that it's a licensed, um, a place that's licensing them and not stealing them. So that is one thing that I do like about this company is that they do use um, licensed artwork. And this one is by Sandra Tribune or Tribune. I'm not sure how to say her last name. Anyways. And the title, I don't know what the title is of this one, actually. I don't remember. Let me look. Hold on. 
Let me see. I think I got it covered up here under the paper, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't say. It doesn't say. I don't know. Whatever. It's colorful and it's a lion head. So how about it's just colorful lion. Okay. Very, very um, original. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll try to find the name. But um, anyways, I so far I'm liking it. When I was kidding it up, I actually really, I like to kid up. I know some people hate it. I love it. I don't like kidding down, but I do like kidding up. And one thing I really liked about kidding this one up, you guys, the colors in this are just absolutely gorgeous. Like the teals and the blues. Ah, oh, I just, I can't even. Like they're so pretty and so sparkly. Their drills, um, their square drills are really pretty. I was actually surprised at how sparkly. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's Eli in the background being loud. Um Anyways, yeah, their square drills were way sparklier than I intended them to be or, like, thought that they would be. Um, when I put these orange ones down and I kind of was, like, moving, you know, the canvas a little bit, I was like, oh, my gosh, they are so flippin' sparkly. Like, more sparkly than most squares that I have seen up to this point. Um, you know how the round ones are like definitely more sparkly than squares. I would say these are about as sparkly as most browns that I've seen. So that's cool. Um, right now I'm working on the banana color, which is what I call it. It's like banana cream pie. It's like that color, you know? Um, anyways. Um, so yeah, I got, I just have this a little bit done and I'm going to start working on it more probably today and then tomorrow. Um, but my, my rule with diamond painting, and I know I said it earlier in this video, um, is I only work on it when I want to work on it. Like, if I feel like I just, I want to do something else, like, I will. Because I don't ever want diamond painting to become a chore or job, you know? And so, yeah, right now, today, I'm definitely going to be working more. And so sometimes after I'm done, like, with all my work, I just want to, like, chill out and, like, lay on the couch and watch a movie and fall asleep. So, because <laughs> that's what I do when I, when, I, when I lay down to watch a movie, yeah, like, nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to fall asleep. Unless it's a really, really good movie or something. Eh, but then, even then, maybe. We'll see. But anyways, um... But I'll probably get the square finished at least today. I really want to try. I will, I really want to get up to this color right here. This blue right here. Because it is so pretty. Look at this color, you guys. Look at that blue. It's like a teal. So, so pretty. Ah, I love it. And then this blue down here is... Ah, I just... I love the colors in this one, you guys. Look at that. Look at those blue. Yep, these are like my favorite. And then the one right after this, 3846, is like my all-time favorite. But these two, yeah, those are right up there. And then I also really like um, like more and more. And maybe it's not in this. Oh, here it is. I'm, I'm liking this blue like more and more and more. But the 995 is super pretty, especially in these drills. These, these colors are just really, really vibrant. Um, something I've heard from some people is like that they've got migraines from working on these kits because they're so bright. Um, I don't know. I haven't yet. And I have actually been dealing with migraines in these last couple days and sinus headaches. Um, but my antibiotics hopefully are going to be kicking in. And so I won't have to deal with that anymore, but, um, at least not as bad, but I don't know. People say that they get migraines from working on these kits because they're so bright. They definitely are brighter than most kits I've seen or canvases I've seen. To be honest, they are really bright, but um, bright enough to give me a migraine. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'll have to tell you later. <laughs> I guess because right now, like, I have a headache today. Um, I pretty much always do, but it, it ain't bugging me, so I don't know. I guess personal, it's a personal thing, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, it definitely is, doesn't seem like it's bright enough to bother me. But again, this is Dreamer Design 2.0. Um, and if you don't know what that means, that means they, like, revamped their company. They changed a ton of stuff um, about their company about things that, um, 
their customers like complained about. They changed it. So again, that I give them credit for because that's a good thing when, when they're listening to their customers. One thing I do have to say, you guys, that's different about them is, okay, so it's definitely poured glue. Their canvases are like ribbony like, I don't know. I can't remember what material it is, but it feels like a ribbon. Um, and then one thing I noticed is, and you can do this with most pour glue, is you can like kind of slide your drills like around to, to make them where you want them to go. Now, and with um, with double sided adhesive, mm -mm, you ain't gonna get to do that. That ain't gonna happen. Like once that drill is down, it's down. It's there forever, it's, you know, life. It's married to that spot. It ain't going nowhere. So one thing I noticed that this canvas, these, it's almost extra slippery. I can't tell if I like it or I don't like it yet. I don't know. I just, I know it's extra slippery. So you can definitely like move it around. Like if you put it in the wrong spot, it's, you're going to be able to move it. Like watch, I can just, I'm sliding this drill around and it's just going where I want it to go very, very easily. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, that means they'll stay where they're supposed to stay. But that is a good thing if you definitely, if you place your drills in the wrong spot, <laughs> like I do on almost every canvas, I put at least a couple in the wrong spot and then I have to, you know, pick them off or slide them around. And so it can definitely, it's a good thing with the, with the uh, pour glue that you can move them a little bit, but um, definitely more slipperier than other canvases I've noticed, but we'll see. Um, that's about all I have to say about it today. And, you know, it was just almost like a mini whip and chat here at the end of Whip It Wednesday. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your Wednesday and we will see you hopefully tomorrow. I will get that, um, unboxing of this kit out so that you can see, you know, the entire thing. Um, and yeah, that's about it guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a rest, great rest of your day. And don't forget, as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely more loved than you know. I know that's upside down, but that's okay. I love you anyways, okay? Don't forget to keep shining, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys! Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.